In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of uh, some of the tools that I'm using to uh, bookmark, curate, and uh, store knowledge for future reference or for other people's reference. Um, and uh, this is all a part of my the MindAmp uh, class that I'm taking with Howard Rheingold and uh, my co-learners. So here's some tools that that I like to use and I'm going to tell you a little bit about why they are useful to me. So first of all I'll stop start at the top uh, with my net vibes. You can see that I have different tabs here along the top, uh, different topics and uh, from neuroscience, mind amplifiers, child development, um, Macintosh news, um, different topics. Each of those tabs represents feeds that I'm pulling from using different um, services. Um, in this case, uh, this is a Scoopit that I'm I've created in Scoopit, and I'm RSS feeding it into my NetVibes. This is a TalkWalker alert that I'm feeding into uh, the neuroscience area of my uh, net vibes. I have the Brain Science Podcast blog um, showing here that gives me a running list of the podcasts and some of the uh, conversations that are going on there in brain science. And the Radio National All in the Mind podcast is also here under neuroscience. And that's pretty much true under these other topics. I use different, um, different. Uh, I, I feed using different tools into these different topics, but it's basically the same thing. Um, here I've got an RSS from Amanda Lyons' uh, Communication Revitalize Visuals blog, and uh, I have Howard Rheingold's uh, Infotension feed from Scoop It and uh, a mind map mapping um, RSS, etc. So child development is the same thing. I have an RSS feed there. Um, so um, NetVibes um, provides me with a dashboard to, uh, to bring in these information from different sources and to be able to review and read very quickly the headlines and choose, pick and choose what I'm interested in delving more deeply into. Granted, there's more information here, more feeds than I can, uh, can handle, but uh, looking at the headlines, it gives me a good snapshot of, of what's interesting. So to take this to the, the second stage, um, a typical workflow for myself is that I, I would find an article like What Gives You Energy, this Amanda Lyons article that she wrote. And you can see here is that article. And I've begun to highlight, this happens to be a very short article, but it's very interesting to me uh, about how using visual tools gives her energy, which is uh, an idea, a feeling that I share with her. So I've marked this up, I've highlighted, you can see um, I have the Deco app installed into my Google Chrome browser. It gives me the, uh, the ability to highlight and take an article and really delve more deeply into it, highlighting the content and saving it to my uh, Deco library. So I've done that, and you can see in my library go to my library. You can see that I've got this this uh, article um, bookmarked here and and summarized. The two annotations are here. So for future reference I can find this article based on the tags that I've used, based on the description that I've entered, and based on the annotations that I've provided um, to my, um, my Digo. And I've Additionally, I have added this to the MindAmp group uh, um, so that anything that, that fits the MindAmp um, topic, I post to the MindAmp group. Anyone who belongs, 
who are members, you can see over here in the right, uh, anyone who is a member of the MindAmp group uh, has access to this feed. So I'm doing a little bit of curation. If people are interested, they can tune in uh, or they could subscribe. And uh, I'm also doing some personal uh, learning and gathering for myself for projects and articles and just my personal interests within the group MindAmp. Additionally, I use Scoopit, and uh, Scoopit, I have a channel in Scoopit that, um, that I curate, and that channel is Neuroscience, Memory, and Learning. So I do the same sort of thing. I might find an article that's of interest to me in my net vibes. I might find it among the suggestions that are provided to me within the, the Scoopit app. Wherever I find it, I can curate it for the MindAmp group and, uh, and people can tune in. They can subscribe to this feed if they like or um, they can re-scoop it. And the, the other benefit of being in ScoopIt is that I can go to my main ScoopIt page and I can read the, the, uh, the people I can read articles that have been curated by people who are of interest to me, who people I trust, and uh, who provide me with good information. Like Robin Good, um, I really there's always a gem in here from Robin, and very often is, and from Howard Rheingold in Infotension. So Scoopit provides me with more feeds and also the opportunity to do my own curation and organizing my own knowledge. So there you have it. Um, there are some of the things that I'm using and uh, a little bit about how I'm using them. Thanks.